video on how to replace easy loader trailer parts. The good thing about easy loaders is they're modular. So you can pretty much replace everything as it starts wearing out. And that's what I've done. Um, I've already replaced the far beam. I think it's called a wishbone. And I've replaced the crossbars. They rusted out first because they got salt water in them and rotted out. And I've replaced the bunk brackets. Um, I haven't replaced the axle or the hubs or the springs yet, but I'm going to. Uh, let's see, there's the tail light bracket. It's already off, but that's relatively new. But uh, there's the beam that is being replaced because it's rusting out from the inside. So it's not that hard. There's six bolts up here at the front. Take out two, loosen the other four. That gets rid of, that gets the tension off. I don't know if you can see it. No, uh, you can't. Uh, anyways, it gets the tension off that. And there's a bolt here on the crossbar. Take that out. There's bolts that hold on your fenders. I've already taken those out. The U-bolts are down there on the ground. Those are relatively new too, because I replaced the fender brackets oh, a couple years ago, so those are in good shape. Once you take those off, the fender just drops down and lifts off. And then once you take the parts off, you take the other bolt out on the other crossbar here, take your taillight bracket off, and then just give it a good wiggle. So I can do this and hold the camera. I'm going to put the camera down, use two hands. See it's starting to pull out. That's working its way back. There it is out on the floor. This will probably be easier with two people, but it's not impossible with one. I forgot to mention put a jack stands under those crossbars so when you take the bolts out that they're supported by something. It's in place. It took about an hour because I had to put strings. I realized I needed to pull the wires back through, and I figured it'd probably be easier to do while it's off than before it goes on. But holding a 16-foot piece of galvanized steel over your head by yourself is difficult. It's kind of heavy. So anyways, there it is, getting ready to just bolt it back up again. And there's the uh, feed wires, one from the front and one from the side for the running lights, and that's for the tail lights. So now it's just a matter of put it all back together again. The uh, wishbone's all back in place, all the bolts are tightened up on that, and now it's a matter of just putting the fenders back on. There's one U-bolt in the back and one U-bolt in the front to put on. Pretty easy, almost, almost there, coming together. And then I've got the bunks, that's the last thing, that's pretty simple.